Here in this code sample we have a simple activity, hybrid activity its name is, and here you can see that we instantiate calculate object. Calculate object is a simple class, so calc object is assigned with a reference for an object instantiated from this class. Here I instantiate web view, so I get the variable web view assigned with a reference for a web view object that function as a web browser. Here I invoke load URL so that uh, the web view will display this HTML document. We can check this HTML document in simple web browser just to see what exactly is there. If I check the page source, I can see the exact uh, HTML and JavaScript code the simple HTML file includes. So this is the code the web view will display. Here I enable the execution of JavaScript inside the web view. Calling get settings on the web view object returns an object on which we can invoke set JavaScript enabled in order to enable the execution of JavaScript. And here, this is the important part, here I invoke the add JavaScript interface on the web view object, specifying that I want the calc object, or let's be more precise, specifying that I want the object that was instantiated from calculate object, the object that calc object holds its reference, to be available for the code in JavaScript that runs inside the web view through OB or let's be more precise through a, a new property that will be added to the window global object inside web view that its name is OB so over here if I check the code I can see that when the button is clicked window.ob is referred and calculate sum is invoked but as you can see and as you know in JavaScript there isn't a such thing a property that its name is OB in uh, the window object for example if I try to execute it over here nothing happens and if I check the debugger I can see that there is an error trying to refer window.ob there is no such thing um, window.ob and calculate sum but here on the other hand thanks to this line I actually make the object that was instantiated from calculate object accessible to the code in JavaScript that runs inside the web view so the code this specific code when running it inside the web view should work. Now here you can see the annotation that marks the calculate sum function as a function that I want to enable its execution, its invocation from code in JavaScript. This is the meaning of adding this annotation so that the code in JavaScript running inside the web view will be able to invoke this function calculate sum and pass over two numbers and get um, the result in this case it's a very simple function the result is just uh, the sum of these uh, two functions so let's let's execute this code sample Okay, this is the emulator and here it is and now when I give it a try press plus as you can see it works actually when I clicked this small plus the calc function was invoked and inside the calc function we have code that fetch the two numbers and then calculate their sum using the 
the function calculate sum that was defined in Java. So here actually there is an invocation of for the calculate sum function that was defined over here. Now, if you want to um, debug the code in JavaScript running inside the web view, not in, a w in, in Chrome or another web browser, it is possible. As of Android 4.4, the, the, the web view is based on Chromium and it is possible it is possible to uh, debug the code running inside the web view, the JavaScript code running inside the web view from the Chrome debugger. In order to debug the code in JavaScript running inside the web view, we can try to browse this URL address and here, as you can see, get a link through which we can actually debug the code running inside the web view in this specific uh, application we just need to press this link and here I get to see over here exactly what we have in our emulator and here I can see the code itself and I can even place a breakpoint for example I will place a breakpoint over here now I can control the emulator from here or from here and the same applies when running our code uh, on an Android device not just an emulator uh, if I press here and enter another number if, and I go back over here I can see it updated and vice versa if I change what I the numbers I enter over here I get this change over here but the most important part is actually the breakpoint we placed so now if I press plus, as you can see, the execution stopped exactly where I placed the breakpoint. And here I can check exactly what happens in my code just using the debugger. For example, I can add an expression, another expression, and just debug the code running inside the web view.